Surprise! I decided to pop on in tonight to see what everybody was doing. I'm just sitting here chilling, having some coffee. I needed it after the day I've had. I mean, I'm on this camera looking crazy. I don't even have any makeup on. Sometimes it just, it is what it is, right? But I missed you guys. I wanted to just pop on and say hey, because when I don't get to talk to everybody, I'm like, what's everybody doing? I'm nosy like that. At any rate, I know everybody's been wanting to see the gold sparkly shoes, and they came today in a little Timu order. So I was like, I really want to get my presents wrapped. So I have a last couple odds and end things that came in this Timu order. So I was like, let's get on here and show it, and then I can start wrapping. I have a whole sea of stuff on my bed and it's frightening. All that little stuff, oh my goodness, there's stuff everywhere. What I try to do is like divide it into each child. So I have like everybody's stuff all together and I can wrap it, throw a lot of it in bags. Normally I'm a thousand percent against bags because I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. I don't mind a bag, but I, I've always been big on wrapping. My family, my sister, oh my God, she wraps something. That box is taped like the box Marisol is going to be getting any day now. That's just a normal gift. It's taped and taped and taped and taped like it's going to try to escape or something. But normally, like my family, we always would wrap every gift. It would have ribbon. It would have bows, like the whole nine. And then me and my daughter always did that, you know, as she got older and could help me wrap. Well, now she lives in her own house. So now I got to wrap everything myself. And I'm like, your girl's buying some bags. I went to the dollar store yesterday to grab some bags. And I got like 10 of them. And... It was slim pickings, let me tell you. So, anywho, I'm going to show you these couple Timu items. We're going to see the glittery gold shoes for the Christmas wedding. And then I need to go and get wrapping my gifts. So, first of all, I want to show you guys these cute little shirts that I got for the one-year-old. i seen these and I just laughed. The first one says, mess with the honk and you get the bonk. And it's a little sweatshirt. Isn't that just the cutest thing? This like muscle bound duck. It just cracked me up. I am a big, as you can see by my hoodie, it says straight out of Wisconsin. It's kind of, for those of you, you that don't know it's a uh, take off on NWA rap group and their stuff says straight out of Compton but mine says straight out of Wisconsin I thought it was hilarious and I had to have it and for those of you that don't know I'm all about old school rap R&B hip hop that's that's my genre of music so yeah, when I saw this sweatshirt, it was too funny. All right, so the next one I got um says little homie. I can't wait to see him in this little sweatshirt that says little homie. Hilarious. He's just Gonna be so cute. I love like graphic tees, graphic hoodies, like that's my thing. So of course I have to dress my grandson like that as well. So yeah, that's 
so cute. For the nine-year-old, I was kind of stuck on, like, some, like, I got her a bunch of, like, little odds and ends stuff, but I was kind of stuck on, you know, what she may like for, you know, something a little more substantial. And all of a sudden, as I was, you know, scrolling, I saw this. It's a kid's digital camera. Because she loves taking pictures, like on my phone. If I want to take a picture or something and she's around, she's like, oh, Grandma, I'll do it. I'll do it. And then she's like hitting the button. It's taking like 5,000 pictures. But this is super cute. Look at how little it is. I mean, kind of like fits right in the palm of my hand. But it's a decent quality. I mean, it's not chintzy it's got a nice big viewfinder on the back and then it comes with all the accessories like to plug it in the little thing to uh the cord so you can like put it around your neck if you want to the plug to charge it and the sd card I think she's going to really get a kick out of this. Now she can take all the pictures she wants and of whatever she wants. Because if I'm trying to take a picture and she's like, oh, Grandma, let me do it, let me do it. I don't know. I get pictures of all sorts of things. and Or I go over there and um, she's like, Grandma, can I see your phone? And then she downloads all these games on my phone. I'm just like, oh. I don't mind, but then as soon as she's done playing with my phone, and I got to delete all this stuff. So yeah, this little camera I think is super cute, and she's going to love it. I got this for her too, just because it's so cute, and there's a story behind this. I got one like this for me, and the granddaughters, of course, are like, oh, we like that. That would be cool in our room. Well, no, only the 11 year old saw it at first. I'm sorry. Take that back. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get her one. And I can't remember if I just bought it for her or, or what. But she was like, oh my gosh, now I have one just like you. So then the nine year old pops up with, well, I think that's cool too. Grandma, will you order me one? And I was like, sure. Well, hers is a little different because it's obviously in the shape of a bear. It's got that cute little sticker up here. And then it has two cups. And you pull them out and look at They're like little coffee cups. They got little handles. And then they just snap right back in there. So she can fill this up with like juice or water, whatever. And then you just push the little button. And what's ever in here, it'll dispense in the little cup. It's little. So that's mainly why we like it. Now speaking of little... Remember where I shown you last how the Stanley dupes and I said I they have a bunch of cups, but I was like, I got those because I seen them and then I saw the little like insulated cups. They came today and they're so cute. Oh my god. Are you ready for it? It's super, super cute. I have to get one for myself now. How adorable. Look at how little it is. It's probably like three ounces, if that. But it's a legit, full-on, little, mini thermal cup. Super sturdy. A little metal straw. I am obsessed with this little cup. Because it's little. The girls are going to freak out. So I'm going to put them. I got two of them. One for each. So I'm going to put those in the bags. With the normal size cups. So this also is for the nine year old. Super cute sleep mask. That's 
real soft and fuzzy. Let's take it out and maybe take a little closer eyeball at it. Sorry for all the crinkling. I hate the crinkling. Isn't it cute? And it's super soft. Again, for those of you that live places where they have Claire's Boutique, like the little girls love to go and shop there, this thing would probably be easily like anywhere from $18 to $25. Not on Timo. Literally think I paid less than $2 for this. And it's the same exact quality as the ones you get at Claire's. So she's always kind of fussing because me and my daughter and her sister all have like the weighted sleep masks. And we're like, honey, those would be like too heavy on your little face. So when I saw that, I was like, no, she has her own. I got this for her as well. My daughter has one that says mom life on it. So when I saw this, I was like, she can be just like my daughter, except her says kid life. That's a cute little hoodie. I love the color of it. She's a little blondie, so I'm like, this color with her blonde hair will be so cute. I thought it was so cute with the little pom-pom buns and like the leopard print glasses. Exactly the same one my daughter has, except... My daughter says mom life on it. I was like, this is so cute. Like, I have to get this for her. So, yeah, that's that. And I think there's one more shirt here that I got for the baby. Um, For my husband, they call him Papa because that's what my daughter always called my dad was Papa. So we got this. Mm. Papa's boy. Isn't that the cutest? He is Papa's boy too. You should see my husband. By the way, my husband's like, when do I get to come and be a guest speaker on your channel? I'm thinking, who the hell wants to listen to him talk? My husband's actually a riot. This is a guy that I don't care where you take him, what situation you put him in, everybody's going to end up loving him. He just has that kind of personality, I guess. He always says that's what reeled me in, was his charismatic personality. He is right, though. So, yeah, he's asking, you know... All of a sudden, he's like, well, why do you want to do YouTube? And what are you going to do? And who's going to watch? And now that I talk about it all the time, he's all like, well, when do I get to come on? Forget about it. I forgot even what, where I was going. I got all, see, I get all off track and on a tangent about something. Everybody, let's have a sip, whatever you're sipping on, and bring it down for a minute. Take a break. Regroup. Because I don't even know what I was talking about prior to talking about my husband wanting to make a guest appearance on my channel, apparently. Oh, I was talking about how they call him Papa. And that's what... You know, the grandkids had always called my dad. It's so funny because my husband's a big dude. He has a very deep, low voice. But you should hear him. My daughter calls every morning with the baby on video. You should hear him talking to the baby. His voice gets real high and he's loud. He doesn't have any sort of inside voice at all. So, yeah, he's talking to the baby and, you know, he's talking in baby talk and it, it's so cute. Okay, back to the task at hand. I got this for the grandson for the 17, excuse me, the 17 year old because he likes cats. I saw this and I cracked up. I got to take it 
Well, I'm not going to take it out of the package because it has the pictures on the back. First of all, the name speaks for itself. Look at the face on that cat. And the back of them, it like shows you all the different pictures for each month. And they're all hilarious. Like the one is, screw this, I'm going to hibernate. Um, let's see, new rule, no humans on the couch. This year, you get 10 Santa Claus. I mean, this is so adorable. And this calendar was like four bucks. And it is sturdy and nice. It's not like the calendars you buy at Dollar Tree. This is super thick and like hard stock paper. And then to top it off, they have like all these fun different other like holidays that they like mark on the calendar. For example, it says National Dress Up Your Pet Day, National Pizza Day, Talk Like a Pirate Day. Super cute. He is, he's going to love it. I was like, I was telling my daughter just before. I said, I am so impressed with myself. Buying things for a 17-year-old is not easy. And normally I'll just like give them money, but I'm like, you know, I want them to have something to open. I have one more thing. It's not from Timo. It's from Marshalls that I grabbed last night for him. But it's so amazing. You guys just have to see it. We already know everybody likes a good blanket. So I was like swirling around, zooming around my cart. They probably thought, what is wrong with this lady? Because I was literally in the back of the store. Then I was back up front. Then I was like, oh, I wanted to look, see if they had any flavored coffee. So then I zipped to the back of the store. I was wondering why security like was all buzzing around me. They probably thought, what is she up to? I found him this. How amazing is this? The camera doesn't even do it justice. Because it's like, it's really like ombre and you can't see it. It's like a light, real light like beige with like a little bit darker beige. And then like some like gray on the tips. And it's so soft. And then the inside has this soft. Oh, it's like you just want to snuggle with it. And it's big. It's a throw. It's a faux fur throw by Style Sanctuary. And it's 50 by 60. So it's a good size. These are like his colors, like this is him, like neutrals. Guess how much? I was shocked. It was the only single one they had. It was an originally $30. $14.99. I couldn't have snatched that thing any quicker, let me tell you. It is just gorgeous. And it's so soft. And you know what? I'm going to end up going back there because I had my eyes on a couple blankets. I love blankets. But more so, I'm not a big throw pillow girl, but I saw some throw pillows there last night that have my name all over them. These two, they were like this pretty blush color with like a brighter blush like on the end. They were like furry, fuzzy, but they were like down alternative filled. Oh my God. 
they were like 13 bucks for a two pack. I don't know why I didn't get them. Because you know what? I don't need them. But I wanted them. I don't know. We'll see. Then I have these. I'll just show you these too. I got these. Did I say I got that at Marshall's? I'm sorry. I got it at Ross. I picked up these for the hubby. Some Hanes men's slippers. Nice hard bottoms. These bad boys were only $7.99. Beyond cheap. And you know what? It's super hard to find shoes. Well, shoes, yeah. But slippers, even more so for my husband. Because my husband had a heart attack back when he was only 41 years old. It's a whole story that we'll save for another day. But thank God he survived and is fine. But ever since then, he has a lot of problems, especially with his left leg with swelling. And his ankles swell and his feet swell. So it's like trying to find shoes to fit him or slippers. So when I saw these, they're real, they have a lot of give to them. And even this part is pretty, like, stretchy. So I was like, please, please, please let these fit because this man needs a new pair of slippers desperately. And for that price, I only have two more things in this bag. Then I got the grandson a pair of Columbia socks like I had hauled for myself in a previous haul. But again, these are his colors and they have the fleece lining. And then I had to get these. I don't know if I'm going to keep them and wear them, but they reminded me of the blanket. And they're the fuzzy slipper sock deals. And they even have the, you know, the rubbery little treads on the bottom. I just fell in love with the color. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to wear them. I would love to, but I get too hot. So I don't know. I don't know. But we've come to the end. We're going to see the gold shoes now. So everybody prepare yourself because they are so cute. Like, I'm just going to show you one so you can really eyeball it good. How adorable are these? And this is going to wrap around her ankle. Are those the cutest gold chunky heeled shoes you've ever seen in your life? And look at them bad boys like sparkle like diamonds. They are so well made like I can't even bend them. That's how good the quality is. I'm not going to lie, I was nervous ordering these from Timo because I thought, mm. these are like shoes that you easily would pay a couple hundred bucks for. And that the gold is just, it's just on there so beautiful. I mean, look at that sparkle. It's like blinding. So, yeah. These are the cute gold wrap around the ankle shoes she's going to be wearing on the Christmas wedding. I can't wait. So that's all I got for tonight. Sorry to come on here looking scary and frighten everybody, but, you know, we all have our off nights. I guess I'm going to go and try to wrap some presents, so say a little prayer for me. I don't know. I'll probably end up going in there and watching a Christmas movie, if I'm honest. I got some time yet to wrap. 
thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you for everybody new that has subscribed to me. I've met lots of new friends through Marisol, my girl Madi, who I love to death. Hey, you guys also get over there and say hi to my friend Crystal and Shaskashawan. I can't even say the word tonight. So I'm not even going to try. Saskatchewan, Canada. I believe her handle is Canadian Timu Halls. She's like me. She's new. We don't know what the hell we're doing, but you know what? We figure it out together. So I like to send people out, over, yonder, wherever, to somebody who's new, try to help them out. Crystal's really cool. So go check her out, Canadian Timu Halls. She's in Canada. Mm -hmm. It's cold in Canada, holy crap. It's cold in Wisconsin, too. I think it's getting cold everywhere. But at any rate, I'm so excited for all my new friends that I've met, everybody that subscribed to my channel, because before Maddie gave me the shout-out, I had maybe nine people. Now I got almost 40. And I got comments. I love comments. I am a commentator. I like to read comments. I like to write comments. I like to comment. I like to jibber-jabber. Yeah. Keep them comments coming because I love it. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. And just all these cool people I met. <clears throat> I can't think of everybody's, like, YouTube names right now. Like, I've met Liz through Mari. I've met Jackie through Mari. Yeah, I've been watching, I've been binge-watching binge Jackie and Liz's channels, trying to catch up, trying to watch everybody's, everybody's Vlogmas videos. It's so much fun. Of course, I, I don't miss anything that Maddie posts, but Maddie's my girl. I've been with her since day one. I'm her ride or die. Yeah, okay, so here I go, I'm rambling, so... I'll let y'all go. Everybody have a good night. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my crazy videos. And if you subscribe to my channel, thank you. If you just zooming by and caught a video or two, thank you for that as well. But I enjoy watching all your guys' videos and I'm trying to get caught up as soon as I can. And I just appreciate every single one of you. So y'all have a good night. Bye.